How would you describe your style in three words? Upcycled, considered, dump site ready. What does that mean? In Ghana, I work with the secondhand clothing trade, and unfortunately, a lot of the clothing, because of fast fashion, can't be sold, and it ends up in the dump site or on the beach, and yeah. we are doing a lot of waste management work. Why are you in New York? We're in New York because the root of the issue that we're dealing with in Ghana starts here. So we have three billboards in Times Square, which is there's like those bleachers. You can literally go and just like watch advertisements, which is such a weird pastime. Yeah. And then we have the fashion zombie here to help people sort of confront what is normally invisible to them. Fashion comes with a lot of responsibility. So how do you feel about the overproduction of fashion? Overproduction is killing fashion. I yeah. agree. It's a business model of volumes over values. You can buy clothing for cheaper than a cup of coffee, especially I here agree. in New York City. We deal with the end result. Mounds of clothing waste on the beaches in Ghana, like taller than I am. Yeah. What do you think brands should be doing to limit waste? To reduce waste, we have to understand that over production is only profitable because garment workers and other people along the value chain are not paid well. So we need to pay people a living wage and we need to close the, the wage gap within the fashion industry. And then we need to disclose production volume. So we need brands to tell us how many garments do they make every single year. And then with that, we can have informed policies that help us reduce the number of new garments that are produced every year. So how can consumers help with the overproduction crisis in the fashion industry? Ask brands to disclose their production volumes. We have a campaign called Speak Volumes. If you go to speakvolumes.org, you can nominate a brand to publish their production volumes. Oftentimes, we donate old clothes so that we can buy new clothes. So my advice would be that if you're donating clothes, you should also shop from the same place. That's what that cycle is what makes it sustainable. What would you say to brands who are not transparent about their production numbers? What are you afraid of? Mm. It's not a complicated data point. It's not a carbon footprint. What is the inspiration behind today's outfit. When in New York, we're black. I have all shades of sustainability. This I've had for about 10 years. And then I have my upcycled earrings, oh, wow, that's which beautiful. are headphones. And then something gifted, which are my shoes, which yeah. I love from Kalina Strada. These um, are like inside out, which I love, just like yeah. showing off the craft of how things are made. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Kai.